Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good night to everyone around the world. Welcome to our webinar series, Turn Your eBay into Steady Income, webinar number three, eBay Competitor Research, Find, Analyze, and Beat Your Competition. So I'm going to start with introducing myself. We're going to move on from here. It's going to be a packed webinar full of value, a lot of uh, real examples and real demonstration of strategies and method. Real people, just like you, are using every day for their eBay business. So let's move forward and allow me to introduce myself. I'm Nahar Geva. I'm 32 years old. I'm married, plus two kids. I'm the CEO and founder of Zik Analytics, and I'm selling on eBay since 2015, end of 2015, 2000, beginning of 2016. I can brag about my success, but I prefer to start with sharing the challenges I encountered when I started my eBay dropshipping journey. The biggest challenge was believing. Believing this can actually work. Finding and selling products we don't, know, we don't own, How can this be possible? All this dropshipping model was sound very odd for me when I started. The second thing was learning how to find products. Learning how to find product was challenging. The learning curve was not clear to me. How do I know if I do the right thing? Who is going to give me feedback on my work? And the last thing was how long till I can actually see profit? What are the risks involved? And when I'm going to break even or become profitable, I wanted to start with minimum cost, risk the minimum I can, and see if e-commerce and dropshipping is actually for me. So here is my story. In December 2015, I moved to Germany with my wife, moved to a new country, never spoke German before. And this is when I started with eBay dropshipping. I started with eBay dropshipping while I was working as a trolley boy in my father-in-law's supermarket. I didn't have any else, any things to do, and I saw eBay dropshipping as my only way. It was hard in the beginning. I joined, I joined a seller community and get access to their training and started to follow their instructions. The first weeks was devastating until I generate my first sale. But once I generate my first sale and made around four dollars profit from this sale. This is when I start believing. This is when I start believe. I understand that if I can make profit from one product that I'm selling, what happens if I sell thousands of this product? Or what happens if I sell tens of thousands of this product? And so on, between December 15 to February 16, we're talking about three months, it took me to move from my first sale to break even. And when I first broke even, this is when I got the confidence. This is when I understand, okay. I'm making enough money to cover my cost to pay softwares, et cetera, and the training that I joined. Now, all I need to do is repeat, continue the same things till I make more money out of it, right? And then again, between February 16 to April 16, we're talking about two months, it took me move from breaking even to make $500 profit per month. When I first looked into my PayPal account and did my monthly calculation and realized, wow, Nahar, you made $500 per month. This is around half of the rent you pay in Germany for apartment. This was the moment of truth for me because I understand I've been walking every day. And guys, to make it clear for you, this was not an easy way. I had to put time. I walked every day a couple of hours. I put, I put all my thoughts and, and my energy towards eBay dropshipping. Eventually, when I made the profit is when I realized that that's it. I'm a few steps ahead from turning this into full-time income. So in August 2016, four, uh, two months later, or actually more, sorry, no, four, uh, four months later, four months later, I made my first $5,000 a month profit and became fully independent through e-commerce. This is my story. This is how it got started. These are my challenges and fears I had when I got started. And it was really important for me to share it with every one of you here because I know that it's not easy. You know, no one is here coming and telling us what we should expect for. And no one, is, no one in the industry, on, in this big e-commerce industry, come and talk about those moments. All these big gurus and all these 
services, always talking about this $100,000 a month seller who becomes successful and travel the world. But they forget that on this journey, there are moments, there are moments that people are facing where they're thinking of maybe giving up. There are moments and challenges people are facing where they may, you know, give up because no one showed them the light, no one explained them what they should expect for. And this is what I want to achieve from this uh, training today and from every training we do in Zeek Analytics. This is our, our mission statement in the company is to make sure you guys can go through these steps. So today I will show you how competitor research can speed the growth of your business. eBay dropshipping is not a get to reach quick scam. Forget about what all other gurus say. Getting started is challenging, but if you follow the right steps and use the right tools, you can overcome the challenges and break even, become profitable and reach independence. We've been getting a lot of feedback from our community members. And I wanna show you now three examples of people that share with us their result in the past weeks. So this eBay seller broke even just a few weeks ago and he's sharing this post in our VIP members community. All Zeek members get access to a VIP members community where we have lots of resources and, and, and there is a community of sellers who, who discuss and lots of them sharing with us those success, those steps. You can see that he came back a month and a half ago into eBay dropshipping. And after, one, after a month and a half, he's generating revenue of $1,000. He have only 14 active listings and 88 sales. And there is a reason for it, is follow the methods and strategies we are teaching inside Zeek and we are teaching on this YouTube channel. He's using the right tools. He's communicating and engaging with the community and he's contacting the chat support when he needs help. And this is what makes the difference between people who are making it happening to people who not. You need to push forward and you need to put effort. And as part of all the tools and education and support you get, you still need to do something about it and take action. Let's take a look on Gabi Umaga. Gabi Umaga reached independence. He started with Zeke in November 2020, and today he's generating $19,766 revenue. He's a top-rated seller, and between January to February, you can see that he has 51% growth to his account. So well done to Gabi for what he's achieved, and he's a great inspiration for all of you who are watching, that there are real people just like you in the community who are taking actions, watching the training videos, using the tools and achieving results. And it's possible, it is possible, but you have to go through the process and you have to, to take in consideration everything I've just mentioned before. You can do it and we are here to support you, but it's not a quick, get quick rich scam. And the last one that I wanna share with you is Ferry Amadi. Ferry Amadi also reached independence. He's 12 months in Zeek Analytics. He's generating um, uh, 66, and $890 in revenue in the last 90 days, which are about $20,000 revenue a month. And you have only 84 active listings. And what is common for all the people that we've seen on these uh, examples right now, they all have low amount of listings and high, and high amount of sales. They all have very good sell through rate. They all have very good performance. Why? Because they are using the tools and the strategies and the knowledge, and they are utilizing the power of data and product research and competitor research, which I'm going to cover in this training today, to get to this result. So thank you so much for them allowing us sharing this information. Terry, thank you for them uh, sharing it with us. And I wanna wish them and any of you are watching and is going through these stages, whether you made your first sale, whether you broke even become profitable or you're already achieving independent, well done, keep the hard work. We are proud of you. And we are here to cheer you during the hard times, during these moments when you come back after work, you know, sitting on your laptop, under your table lamp, tired from the entire days, but you are not giving up. You are still putting time and effort in finding products and, and uh, pushing yourself forward. So what make our members successful is the tools, the support, the knowledge, and the experience. These are all the things that make your e-commerce work. These are all the things that we pack into this webinar series. It's all the things that we are packing into the, into the software and the community. These are all the things that we're trying to provide you and anyone who want to start or scale his e-commerce business and to be able to actually do it. This is our mission statement. This is why everyone in Zeek Analytics waking up every morning. So in the past six years, we've learned that every e-commerce journey 
is divided to three main stages. When you break even, when you become profitable, and when you reach independence. Our studies show that 90% of the people that manage to break even in the first three months also become profitable and reach independence. And this is why we've created this webinar series. In our monthly webinar series, Turn Your eBay into Steady Income, I will cover different topics that will help you build a successful business and achieve independence through these three key moments. So these are the, this is the third webinar. And if you haven't watched the first and the second, you can find it on the YouTube channel and or contact our live chat support on zikanalytics.com to get a link to the webinar. We're going through different important uh, uh, topics that will support you breaking even as fast as possible. Our goal is to help you break even as fast as possible. And before even the education, we start with giving you a discounted price when you first join Zik. We want to make sure your expenses are low so you can break even quicker. We understand how important is this moment. And then providing you with the knowledge and tools you need to find, rank, and sell winning products quickly. The second step is turning profitable. This is a crucial moment in your journey to independence. And we are going to teach you all the methods to increase profitability and gain strong selling momentum. You're going to find information about it in this webinar. You're going to find it on the first and second webinar that we had. And you're going to find it every month if you subscribe to our channel and, and subscribe to the mailing list and join Zeke. You're going to get this every month for the next 12 months and the next year. And we're not, we're not going to stop. Our goal is to support you through this process. And the third one is taking full ownership of your life and becoming fully independent through e-commerce by scaling your business horizontally and vertically. Somewhere throughout this year, we're going to also release webinars that focus on, on uh, scaling your business, opening more stores, listing more products, and stuff like this. Now, let's get started with the webinar because uh, this is why we are here today. We're here to learn about competitor research. And today we learn how to find relevant competitors, how to find winning products how to find winning niches through competitors, how to scale with competitor research automation and AI tools within Zeek Analytics that basically allow you to use, uh, to, to scan competitors and automatically grab all their items and how to extract valuable information from your competitors, learn their strategies, learn their best practices and adapt it to yourself. So I just wanna see here guys, before we are moving forward, um, uh, what is the feedback? How do you hear me? How do you see me? Everything is clear so far. We're going to focus on the training here, okay? And I'm going to keep uh, time for questions and answers by the end of this webinar. So please, if you have any questions, remember that I'll do my best to answer all the questions, but I will do it by the end of the webinar. I see that slowly, slowly more and more people are joining. Thank you so much, guys, for joining. And we are going to move forward and start right now with the next, with the first part, and is how to find relevant competitors. If you guys just joined now, don't worry. This webinar is recorded. It will be also uh, uploaded to YouTube, and you will be able to watch the recording again. So if you don't understand anything, you will be able to come back and watch again and again and again. Let's get started. So. How to find relevant competitors. Before I even jump to the, the steps, why it's so important to find competitors? Why competitor research is so important? Competitor research allowing us to shorten the product research curve, to shorten the, the learning curve, basically to help us get quicker to products, relevant products for us, quicker to relevant niches for us, and save us a lot of time in scaling. And it doesn't matter in which uh, business or, or um, niche you are. Because let's say if you're a dropshipper, this is um, uh, where I'm talking about the first part here. If you're a dropshipper, if you're a wholesaler, if you're a brand owner, if you're focused on specific niche, before you go to look for relevant competitors, you need to know what is your goal. Are you going to look for competitors for finding products? Are you, look, are you going to look for competitors to, to understand the competition in your niche? Or you just want to get a, a, a inspired by, by different competitors? What is your goal? Now, there are different approaches. There are different ways to use competitor research, which we're going to learn in this webinar. For example, if you want to find products, if you want to find niches, if you want to learn 
the strategies of your competitors, if you want to understand who are your competitors in your niche. But first, you have to define this. Now, our goal in eBay dropshipping, when you do competitor research, is to find competitors to help us find products and niches faster. Okay? So how do we, how do we find those relevant competitors? First of all, we need to understand what is our um, goal, and then we need to start from the source. So we need to know what we are using Amazon as our supplier. We are using AliExpress as our supplier. We are using um, Walmart as our supplier. We want to identify the source and start from there. So let's say we, the example is going to be on Amazon today. So let's say I'm using Amazon as my supplier. My first step will be to go into Amazon.com, go there and find one of the best sellers there and then search it on Zeek and find it. This is one example. So after we know what is our source, we know to which uh, supplier, to which competitors to look for. The second things that we, the third thing that we can do to find more competitors is use one competitor to find more competitors, okay? And then expand our competitor list. So we need to know what is our intention, what is our source, and then we can use one competitors we find to find more competitors. And the end goal is to expand our list to create a big list of competitors who are using the same supplier like us, who are working in the same niche like us. Why? Because it's like building an army of product research agents that will be going out and searching products for you. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to move into the share, in the share screen and show you a live demonstration how I find competitors. Okay. And this is going to be the first stage. And how do I decide which competitors I want to build? I want to save to my list. I want to, to, to add to my list, to expand my list. After this part, we're going to move into the second part is to how to get products from those competitors. So please write in the chat, guys, if you are ready. Write in the chat, guys, if you are clear. And let's move on from here. I'm going to remove this and move into the shared screen and go into Zeek Analytics. So remember what I said. Remember what I said. How do I go into, or how do I find co relevant competitors? My goal is to find competitors for this example. who use Amazon as supplier because I'm planning to use Amazon as supplier or I'm using Amazon as supplier. And uh, so I'm gonna start from the source. The source is Amazon, right? I will go into Amazon and I will switch here to United States uh, zip code to get relevant results. Let's give it a second. Perfect, just updated. And then I will go here to best sellers. Okay, I, go, I will click here on best sellers. And then into best sellers, I have many, many different products, right? Many, many different products. And I can just randomly go into one of those products, for instance, into this one, copy the title, go back to Zeek Analytics, click on the product research tool, Put here the title of the specific product I found on Amazon. Let me just see that I copied the right title. We need to remove the one. We can even shorten it a little bit. And then click search. Just to make it clear for you guys, when you, do, when you use Amazon, you want to click here on quick settings and you want to make sure that you're on supplier settings, Amazon. We support Amazon, Walmart, and AliExpress, and CJ Dropshipping, and Alibaba. Any one of you can do it uh, in any type of suppliers. And you can also complete the sourcing parts manually. Zig will give you the data from eBay. Now, I got 36 listings. And when I scroll down, I see on the, on the left side, the seller information. I can see the dropshipper sign. This is telling me all these guys are dropshippers, right? I can click here, filter by dropshippers only. And on the right side, I can see if actually Zeke was able to find the exact same item. So for instance, here, Zeke found the exact same item with $2.66 profit. But remember, I'm not here to find products. I'm here to find sellers. So what I'm going to do is I'm using the source to find more people selling similar products from Amazon. And then I want to go to sellers that I know Zeke are able to automate the item finding process for me and find a lot of items. So I will look for the sellers with a green V check here. And then I will go and I, I will analyze these sellers. So by clicking here on the scan seller button, I can analyze those sellers and I will go for all the sellers with a green V check. Now, another important 
criteria here is the feedbacks because if I know this seller selling this have 683 feedbacks, I know it's pretty quite a while on eBay, right? If you have 15 feedbacks, this is a new store. So it's either he either opened his second store or is beginner. Now, sometimes it's very good to follow beginners because if you find a beginner that know to work very well, this will be very powerful for you, okay? This will be very uh, uh, helpful for you, but because it will be easier for you to compete with them. But on the other hand, maybe they don't have a lot of listings in their store. So I will try to go through the result and see if I can find more people which have higher uh, uh, average amount of feedbacks between 2,000 to 200 and open them. But I will not exclude a small one. I will analyze them as well. So I click the button scan seller. And now I can see that this guy, for instance, generate $2,589 sales in the last 30 days. The other guy here with only 12 feedback score generate $1,000. Remember what I told you? Some of the beginners, they are doing very well. And the last one, the first one here, this guy with 630 feedback score, making $27,000. $27,000 revenue from Amazon. It's dropshipping from Amazon is around $3,000 profit. So this guy knows what he's doing. He's making a lot of profit, okay? And I can see that if I scroll down, there is a lot of items here that I can grab. Now, how do I know which seller to add to my list? Remember what I told you? I want to know. First, I found good seller. I want to add him to my list. So this guy have 27,000 revenue. You have 126% sell through rate. He's doing very well. You have a lot of products. Some of them are not green V, which means are similar products. To people who don't know, similar products are very powerful products. I can tell you from my own experience and also experience of other people that in our team and our eBay dropshippers. One of them is our CTO, Gonzalo Cabsinia, who is basically um, dropshipping since 2017 and he's scaling up over 10 stores and doing very well uh, with his uh, business, with his dropshipping business. He's living from similar products. He's listing mainly similar products, even though they are not exact same. Okay, let's take a look on this. Even though they are not exact same, they are still similar. So you go into niche with a lot of demand and you're able to basically um, uh, bring something new to the market. Now, the second reason we don't have the green we check here that sometimes even if we found the exact same item, we just can't ver verify it 100% and we don't want to promise if we are not sure. So we suggesting you when you listing, list green checks, but also list similar items. This is where your big profit will come from. Similar items is the way to grow. Anyway, we will discuss it in the item finding process. But first, I want to know, how do I save these sellers? So I want to save sellers that Zeke have a lot of their items. I want to save sellers that have good performance a good sell-through rate, high revenue, and, and that they are working on good profit margins. So let's take this guy. He's buying it for $13.16, selling it for $13.75. He's making very small profit here, right? Let's check another item of this guy. Let's see this similar item. This similar item, $4 profit. Let's check out this one. This one here. This one is, seems to be in loss, right? Or maybe his, his price been changing there. This one, $5 profit. Overall, I can see that this guy work with profit margins. So I will validate revenue, sell through rate, successful listings to know you have enough products because if you have only five products, maybe it's not interesting for me. I will validate the profit margins. I will validate Zeke offer a lot of his Amazon products. And then I will click because this is pretty nice seller. I will click on the edge to watch list and I will say, and uh, 27K seller with decent profit margins. Decent profit margin and a lot of similar items. I will give it rating three for instant and I will save it to my competitor list. Now I save one seller. Now I can come to the sellers every week, every month, go through his items one by one, Come and say, this is a product I want to sell. Click the button, see if I can sell it for profit. If I say, wow, I can sell it for, for profit. Save it to my list. Click save to folder and later on go and list it to my store. Build 10 products, 15 products every day and list it to my store, okay? Now look how quick the process was of finding competitors and finding products if I, um, um, if I uh, uh, use competitor research. I don't need to guess. I find competitors use the same suppliers like me. These competitors bring me similar items. This is very powerful, okay? Okay, but 
We want to focus now not on the products, but on saving the sellers to the list and what to do about it. Now, let's take another example. I want to take another example of this seller. This is a young seller, 12 feedbacks, 17 active listings, $1,000 revenue, 82 sold items. He don't have a lot of successful listings, right? So I can basically only find seven items here, but he's just with 12 feedbacks. This guy's probably listing products every day. And this guy knows what he's doing. I don't think he's just getting started for his first time on eBay. Maybe he's second or, or third or, or fourth store already. He have 482% sell to rate, 82 sold items, and he's doing pretty well. Let's see his profit margins. So his profit margin is pretty good as well, right? You can see exact same product, buy $19.99, sell $25.49. He's doing pretty well, right? He knows what he's doing. Now, if I know these guys know what he's doing, maybe I cannot find too many items from these sellers right now, but I can check these sellers in two months and see how many items or how he grow. So I can put here new seller, only seven active listings, only seven active listings, but amazing performance. And you, if you want to be more organized, you can see, check again in and you can put the date or write two months because we are saving for you the date. Give it a rating, save to your competitor list and you are good to go. Now, let me show you the competitor list. You can find here your competitor list. And inside the competitor list, you can see here are the two sellers that I saved. You have the date when they edit and you can edit the comments and then you can come here every month Analyze them. If you will click the button here, you will analyze this seller and you will be able to look into the results of this seller. Okay. Thank you very much for the feedbacks and comments. I'm glad you hear me well. So this is what you do. This is how you find sellers. First, you need to know your intention. You need to know your goal. Second, you need to go to the source. You want to find people either selling in the same niche like you or selling, uh, using the same suppliers like you, or maybe if you focus on high ticket items, you want to find competitors working with high ticket items. So you need to understand what is your goal, what you're trying to achieve. Then you go to the source and you start to look for it. You found sellers working with your supplier, with same suppliers like you. You see that this seller is performing well. You save them to your list and you're good to go. So this was the first step, finding relevant competitors. Now for Walmart and AliExpress, you do the exam same process. For AliExpress, for instance, let me just give you an example. It's a bit easier because you don't even need to go to AliExpress. You can just put here China, put here in the search any keyword you want, like Manwatch. Okay. Click search and then allow the, the eBay dropshipper finder, the, the only dropshippers finder that we have here, dropshippers only, to show you where the dropshippers and to go and analyze them immediately. Okay. So this is how you do it with, with AliExpress. And if you want to do it with um, Walmart, you go and you search Walmart brands. So you go to Google and you write Walmart brands. And then inside Walmart, uh, inside Google, inside Wikipedia, you will see what are the Walmart brands. And then you can copy Sam Choice, which is a Walmart brand. You can go back to the product research. If I move a bit too slow, too fast, sorry about it. You put here the brand from Walmart. You click the search button and you find all the products drop shipped to eBay from this brand. Now, because this is an, an, ex, an, an, an a version exclusive, uh, sorry, exclusive brand for Walmart, all the results will be Walmart drop shippers. And you can easily find Walmart drop shippers this way. Okay. So this is the process. This is how you do it. And you can be creative. Just think what is your intention? What is your goal? And then what is the source? What is the starting point? You're looking for high ticket items. You're looking for dropshippers while working with specific supplier for anything, for a specific niche seller and then start from your source, okay? Let's get back into the PowerPoint and move on from there. So number two is how to find winning products. So what are the winning products criteria and how we find them? We wanna look for products with two sales in seven days. We want to make sure they have no more than 20 competitors, sometimes less, depends on your selling stage, and check the profit margin on your supplier website. So a winning product is a product that have high demand, low competition, but also have decent profit margin. The stats on, on, on the seller side is not enough. You need to have a competitive price. You need to, to bring something good to the market. You need to have an, an advantage, a competitive advantage on your competitors and its profit. Now, there is one more thing I missed uh, to show you on the demonstration, I will go back. 
and is use one competitor to find more competitors. I'm going to demonstrate it to you now when I demonstrate you how to find winning products. I just was excited and I miss it. So remember this, you look for products with two sales in seven days. You want to make sure no more than 20 competitors and you want to check profit margin on your supplier website. Now let's move into the demonstration and see how this done. So I'll go back to Zeek Analytic and now I have one dropshipper that I already found. Let's check out this big, nice dropshipper, ShopZoo. Nice American Amazon to eBay dropshipper generating $27,000 a month. Look like a decent dropshipper. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scroll down to the result and look for the product I'm looking for. Because I'm looking for seven day sales, I will switch here to seven days sales data. And you can do it as your default inside your competitor research setting. You can do this as a default and click search. Now, after I do seven days, this guy makes $6,000 in seven days. Very well done. After I do seven days, I can scroll down and I can see what are his top performing items in the last seven days. Now, take a look, guys. How many items we have here? We have sales, 24 in the last 30 days, in the last seven days, 13 in the last... These are all sellers matching our criteria. Now, we will ignore the one with the 31 competitors, 51 for competitors, but these are 15, 10, 23, 17, 8, 12, 17. Look, so many products, 12, 7. So many products to find from this guy. Click here, found the exact same product, $4 profit, save it. Into the, into the folder, I want to create a new folder. You click here, add new folder. We call it competitor research webinar. We create new folder. We save this product to our new folder. Go next. Go next here. I can even try similar products as we said. So this one here is basically exact same product, save, good. Next one, this one is different, okay? This one is different and doesn't look to be, yeah, it's actually very similar. It's different company, very similar. It's a freezer bags galoon 60C Ziploc and this is 56 count. So it's a bit less, but you can sell it for a bit less money because you have a decent profit. I will save it to my list. Definitely bring something new to the market, different brand competing under the same keywords. Go back, come here, click here. This is exact same It's 30 pack, 30 pack is exact same. Save it as well. So many profitable product. And this is what you do if you walk manually one by one. This is a competitor research process of finding items and sniping your competitors. After I build this list of product, I go here to my products. I click here on my product on, on competitor research webinar. And here are the four items that I saved to my list. Now I can even optimize my title here. Okay. So I click here, optimizing my title, saving. I can see the profit margins. I can do everything I want. I can also change the eBay, type, the eBay price to fit it to the, to the price I want. After I decided... These are the products I want to list. I can go one by one and list them to my store or I can integrate them directly with our listers that we are supporting. And I click here, upload all, and then we support AutoDS and Selfrix and you can list them directly to your store. Pretty automated process, pretty easy, right guys? So this is how it works. So this is how the manual process work, which is also not so manual, right? Because um, you see it's pretty semi-automated. You need to find the competitors. Yes, it's important you find a good competitor. Then you just check one by one each item and you save it to your store. Very smooth, very easy process. Stick to your product criteria. It's very, very important. Now, remember what I told you before about finding competitors and how it's important? Now, beside of going to your source and looking for best sellers from Amazon, Walmart, or AliExpress, or Home Depot in Zeek, and then find the competitors who are selling these items, if you find one competitor, and I mentioned it on the PowerPoint, if you find one competitor, this competitor can lead you to many more sellers. Now, what do we see here? This product here sold 24 times in the last seven days and have 31 competitors. Guess who are these competitors? These competitors are most likely our dropshippers like you. 
So all you need to do is hit this very nice scan title button. One click, very smooth user interface and user experience. And bam, a couple seconds after, you are landing on the product research result. But now you've got 31 listings, which are potential competitors. Scrolling down, we can see based on the image, we can see based on the item finder, these are all competitors. Now, the name of this seller was Chopazoo. This is not Chopazoo. This is not Chopazoo. This is not Chopazoo. All of them have green checks. All of them have dropshipper sign. Let's analyze the hack of these competitors and see how many more amazing competitors we can find. The top four are very, very interesting. The first one have 149 active listings and 40 sold items, $2,000. This is an average competitors, right? The second one have $19,000 in revenue. Now I'm going to close the less interesting one and I'm going to keep the nicer ones uh, so we can analyze them later and extract information from them. This is the last part of the webinar. This guy, $4,000 in revenue, 105 feedback score, 72 active listings, 472 sold items, guys, 655% sell rate. This is a very interesting seller. And this guy, very bad performance, 1,000 active listings, 149 sold items, $4,000 revenue, 9,000% sell rate. But I can also see that this guy have a lot of green, green V products and he have 99 successful listings. So I will keep him because it's not just about the performance, it's about how many products I can find from this seller that match my criteria, right? Perfect. So let's keep this seller, this seller, this seller here. Let's close this result. Let's keep shop zoo because it's a really nice seller and close these two other ones. So we have enough sellers. But it is really important for me to get the feedback from you if the process was clear. If I find one seller, and if I see that this product here that generated a lot of sales have 31 competitors, I know that these 31 competitors, or even here, these 54 competitors are potential competitors for me. So I will hit the scan title button to go and find their competitors. And now I see 44... 54 active listings, and again, they are all competitors. They are all interesting for me to analyze. So I will click here on Hamza. I will click here on MFC. I will click here on other that I find with a great check, and I will see what are they doing. Another one, very good one, $5,000 revenue, 86 active listings, 279 sales. This guy, less interesting because nine sales, 17 listings, three successful listings, I will close him. And I will go and build my list, save competitor after competitor after competitors. And slowly, slowly, I will optimize my list. You need 100 good competitors to list amazing products every day, okay? That's all what you need. So this was how to find more competitors. This was how to find their products. Basically, same process here, right? Clicking here, saving this to our competitor research webinar folder and coming up later listing to our store. Let's get back to the PowerPoint. Let's get back to the PowerPoint and see now the next part of this webinar. And number three is how to find winning niches. I just want to say, guys, before I jump into this presentation and you know start explaining you about niches, and, and the, the next part, number four, going to be the automation part, okay? The AI automation part. This is where you can scale your business and list a lot of items. This is the solution that will help you. You know, if you are working full-time job and you come and you have only two hours, this is what's going to save you all the time and help you find so many products so fast. So hold tight with me. Let's finish this part on how to find winning niches and then jump directly to the most exciting part of this webinar and is how we use the Zeek automation, the Zeek artificial intelligence technology to automate the entire process and find hundreds of products with one click. So let's get back and go over it. So how to find winning niches? Number one, look for products with at least 10 sales in 30 days. We want a product that have high amount of sales because this will indicate that these are coming from a very strong niches. Number two, identify the keyword that defines the niche. Basically, if it's a a keyboard 
you want to use the keyboard or gaming keyboard, anything that defined the, the, the entire niche without all these extra compelling and, and specification keywords that added to the title. Then copy this keyword and search it in the Zeek product research tool. Let's move into the live demonstration and see how to find winning niches. This is a pretty quick set, uh, uh, a process before we're going to jump into the artificial intelligence features that's going to change the way you see things today. So I'm going back into Zeek and I'm going to go to one of the sellers that I analyzed, right? Let's go one by one and give a few examples. Let's go to the first seller. The first seller was Shopazoo. Now, when I look for niches as a dropshippers or as a seller even, I don't want to go under branded items. So for instance, this one, Cotenola Fresh Fill Flash. It might be a product that people buy because the brand or this one in Oregon Oil. It may, may be a product that people buy because of the brand. I want to look for more general products. So this seller, for instance, who's selling a lot of brand and items is not a good seller for competitor research, for a niche research. So I will try another seller here. This seller also sell a lot of brands. This seller here, or oh, this is an interesting thing. What is this? Okay, this is an eight pack. Take a look on his first product guy. This seller here with $19,000 in revenue in the last 30 days. His first product is eight pack nature, fresh bamboo, charcoal, air purifying bags, activated odor observer. It's listed on the 2nd of April 23. Sorry, on the, on the 4th of February. Sorry, on the 4th of February 23. And it's generated 24 sales in the last 30 days. It's stick our first check mark. This is more than 10 sales in the last 30 days, right? It sells for $22.99 and it's a generic keyword. I can sell any nature, fresh bamboo, charcoal, air purifying, and people will buy it. It's not like smartphone or a specific supplement or something like this. This is a product people use. They want to make sure they find something work. There is a lot of uh, private labels on Amazon that are doing it and it gives us a lot of uh, opportunity here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the keywords. Let's define the keywords together. Eight pack, nature, fresh bamboo, charcoal, air purifying. So, so, it's, a, so it's a charcoal air purifying bags. This is, or even bamboo maybe. Bamboo, this is the keywords. I will copy this. I will open the product research. I will put it here. And may, I, may, I, I may even remove the bamboo for instant for a second. I will use it later. And I hit the search button. Now I want to see if this is a good niche. Let's see if by analyzing or relying on the sales of this specific product, it's lead us to a good niche. So take a look, guys. We're talking about 100 active listings, generated $5,000 revenue for $19 um, average product price, 44% success rate, 285% sell to rate. For good niche, we want over 200% sell to rate, over 30% success rate when it's very specific like this. And now we can see the different products. They're all bamboo, by the way. And now we can see how many they sell, what title is used, what is the prices. And we can see who are the one who performing on the top. And then from here, what we want to do is we want to go and bring something similar. This is another method, which I already teach in the product research process. It's called the similar product method. But we look for niches to find similar products. We know this is a good niche. Now I want to go and bring five, six items to this niche. So I will open my supplier page. I will search here for this exactly same keyword. And now here I have so many different items, so many different items. And now we learn the unique selling proposition here. So this is 16 pack selling for $29. This is 12 pack selling for $22. I'm learning about the niche, 15, 15 bags, $33. And now I see, okay, this guy is selling expensive bags, $33 for 15 bags. Let's see what we can get here. I will even use here the filter of price. And I say, you know what? Give me products that are maximum, maximum $15. I want to make good profit. Now I can see here different bags. This is pack of four. This is small. We want a pack of 15. We want a, we want a big packs, right? Pack of six, pack of four, maybe around these prices, the, the, it's very small. But our goal is to come here and find something. Let's take a look again that we can sell. This is 15 bag, right? Let's, let's, let's remove the, the price filter. 
search it again. And see, these are 10 bags, $22, 12 bags, $20, eight bags, $16, 12, 19, 12, 19. We can even say, okay, you know what? We want 15 bags. Let's put here 15 bags to be more specific. 15 bags, 19, okay? Now, this guy sells 15 bags for 19. This guy here selling 15 bag for 33. We can make amazing profit writing this title, writing this entire title on this product. You understand? On this product here. So this is how you do it. This is so he's selling this one. He buy it for 23. We can buy it for similar, similar competitor, also 15 pack. Looks a bit different, but it doesn't matter. This is the power of similar product and bring it into a niche that have good revenue, good demand, good success rate. So this is why we do niche research. And this is how we find niches. We go through the sellers, we identify products. This is another, by the way, this is another product here, eight sales, not standing in our, our demand, but another general product that we can do his research. So, so far, so good. We've went through uh, three important, four important steps in the uh, presentation, in the webinar. We discussed how to, we discussed, let's go back for a second. We discussed how to find relevant competitors, identify our goal, start from the source, using a one competitor to find more competitors. You've seen how I did it with a, with a scan title button and expand your competitors list, build a competitor list. We went through how to find winning products. We look for products with at least two sales in seven days. We save them to our folders. And then we make sure they have, of course, no more than 20 competitors. We check their profit margins. We make sure all this, and then we save them to the folders. We learn how to find winning niches, identify which products are good for niches, go with our criteria, 10 sales in 30 days, copy the keywords, paste it in the product research tool and search it, and then go and do the sourcing process. Even though it's not part of this webinar, I wanted to show you the sourcing process of similar products. We found this uh, charcoal, charcoal uh, uh, profile airbag that uh, we can sell for better price than other competitors with bring similar products. was an amazing example from my opinion. And now we come to the fourth part and is how to scale with competitor research, automation, AI. Zeke have a whole section of artificial intelligence before chat GPT even went public. One of those features called the bulk scanner. The bulk scanner scan competitors you find and grab all their items automatically and organize it in three lists. And I'm going to show you how it does. Let's go through the process on how to use the bulk scanner. If you're ready to see how to use the bulk scanner right, right now in the chat, B-O-O-M, boom, right on the comment on the YouTube video, B-O-O-M, boom, and let's get started. So first of all, Number one is find dropshippers who uses the same supplier as you. We did it already. The first part, the first part of this webinar was finding relevant competitors. I've showed you how to find dropshippers from Amazon, Walmart, and AliExpress. You do the same process on Home Depot and any other dropshipper. Second step is validate they have enough successful listings and matched items. You're not going to run bulk scanner on a seller with five successful listings. You're going to do it on a seller with a couple of hundreds because for five sell items, you can do it manually. Then you're going to click the scan on bulk scanner, the red button on competitor research. And then you're going to go and analyze these uh, uh, results and extract all the items to the folders. So let's go and see how this is done. How to scale with competitor research, automation, artificial intelligence, live demonstration. Let's jump directly into the Zeek and see the competitors we found. So. I've collected here a list of good competitors for this example. This guy has 37 successful listings. This guy, oops, this guy has 408 successful listings, 43 successful listings, 99 successful listings. We have one, two, three, four, and then we have five. We have five competitors here, right? We can go through them and see they have enough green checks and similar products. There is enough products found by Zeke here. This is approved. I will click here the bulk scanner button. Now it's added to the bulk scanner. I will go to the next one. We look on the result again, 37 results, all approved. I will click on the bulk scanner button. 
I'll go to the third one. Again, 508 results. So many green check marks. Take a look. So many results. I will scroll up. I will click the bulk scanner. I'll go to the fourth one, the same process, 43 successful listings, lots of check marks. And then I will click on the bulk scanner. And I will go to the last one, the fifth one, do the same process, 99 successful listings, great results here. Lots of green checks, click on the bulk scanner one. Now I can either hit again this button to go to the bulk scanner, or I will click here on the Zeek Pro and I will click bulk scanner. The bulk scanner is the artificial intelligence feature that scans sellers and extract all their Amazon or Walmart items. All the sellers that I've added are here. We can see the date. How many added today? One, two, three, four, five on the 23 of March, 2023. Now you can go one by one and look into them and I will show you now how to do it. You click here on the seller name. For instance, this guy, you open it in a new tab. And inside this seller, you will get three lists of these sellers, the match items, the exact match items with the green V check, the similar items and the not found items. Let's start from the first list, the matched items. Scrolling down, Zik found all the items one by one, match items, looks what an accuracy. Now I guess Gonzalo Cabsini, our CTO is watching us right now and feeling very proud because he's been developing insane technology to match those items, a real artificial intelligence technology to match between these items and the results are phenomenal. We got here a lot of listings, a lot of results, 44 listings ready to be listed. Now, if you wanna go seller by seller, you can click here, check entire seller, choose your folder, for instance, webinar and click move. In one second, it's completed. Not just that the technology amazing, it's also moving pretty quick. So now we've managed to move all those 44 listings into the folder. Next step you can do is go into the similar item. And now you will get all the similar items. Some of them will be exact same. You see some of them not. You can either go by one, by one by one, see which similar item makes sense and checkbox, all of, checkbox them or just go and say, I want all the similar items. I need to list now hundreds of items every day. Okay. And click move again. And the last list, list is the not found items. Now, lots of people looking for shortcuts, but I can tell you something I've learned about life. If you don't take shortcuts and you put effort where other people don't take effort, no, don't put effort, this will bring you success in life. Not found items are items Zeke couldn't find, okay? And items Zeke couldn't find is items no other software could find. They're items with less competitors because less people are using automation to extract it. Here, what you can do is you can go one by one. You can say, you know what? Let's check this title on Amazon. I copy the title, search on Amazon. See if I can find the exact same item. So yeah, this is the item, right? Now I will copy the ASIN from here. This is the ASIN. I will go back here and I will paste the ASIN here. And then I will choose which folder I want to save. It. And I will click save. Now. I save this exact item to my folder. That's it. I'm good to go. I move to the next. I know a lot of very successful dropshippers with, with big stores, with a lot of revenue, who have virtual assistant who is only on the not found items. And you go one by one and match all those items because here you have a lot of items, okay? And you have a lot of items with lower competition. So this is how you do it. This is how it works. This is how you do it when you go manually one by one each seller. Now, now there is a way to even automate this. Instead of go seller, seller one by one, you can come and say, I want to scan one, two, three, four, five sellers that I collected. Click on scan multiple sellers. Say, I want product with minimum price of $5. I want product with minimum profit of whatever you decide. I will leave it blank for now. I want minimum two sales in seven days. I want to add it to the competitor research webinar. These are all source website, amazon.com, and I want them to be prime only. And boom, you click the scan. Ah, I have to put profit. Now, what will happen? Zeke will run through these five sellers. 
It's created here under the multi-scan list. You have five sellers, date requested, and then you have here the folder ready for you to click and, and see if it's ready. Now I will just refresh it to see how quick it takes. 132 items with at least two sales in the last 30 days move to this folder. Let's go and check out how, in, our, how artificial intelligence can change our life. So opening the folder, competitor research webinar, and bam, take a look. 132 items ready to be listed. Perfect exact match, ready for you to be listed. Now you can go back to those sellers, extract the not find out them, not find out them items, extract the similar items, but here you get a list of so many items ready for you to be listed. Okay. All you do is checkbox everything, upload all, integrate with your listers and put to your store. If you walk one by one and you upload one by one, it's totally fine. You have here the ASIN. You copy the ASIN and you list it. You can optimize the titles if you like. You can do a lot of things. With our integration, you can choose which title to upload. We suggest that always use the supplier title or optimize the title by yourself. Don't bulk list hundreds of items with eBay titles because it's dangerous, mainly when you use similar products, okay? So this is your security measure. Now, there is another insane feature that we've added here. Let me just connect here. I think, no, I cannot connect it right now. I cannot show you right now, but there is a, another fe feature we extract here, which is Vero protection, guys. So if I will click upload or export all listings, I can export everything but ex exclude the Vero brands. Exclude the Vero brands. And I can get a CSV file or upload to my store excluding the Vero brands. Not taking risk listing products with a trademark, protecting our stores. And this is how AI works. This is how easy it is to automate the process and grow your store. And we have special special offer for you by the end of this webinar. It's a, it's a monthly offer for, for uh, webinars, viewers that I'm going to share with you. Uh, so stay a little bit more because now we are about to go to the last chapter, which is how to extract valuable information from your competitors. Now, We've discussed uh, the main topics, how to find competitors, how to find products, how to find niches, and how to do the automated process with the bulk scanner feature. But there is another thing which is not less important and is keep learning all the time. We wanna see what other successful sellers are doing, what are their selling strategies, and, and adapt the good things for ourselves, try new methods all the time. So how do we extract valuable information. What is valuable information? How we extract it? So first of all, we want to do performance analysis. We've already did it. Basically, when we go through them, how much revenue they have, what is their sell-through rate, profit margins. This is how we define if the seller is good or not, how many feedbacks they have, and, and et cetera. Second, we want to do price analysis. We want to make sure, oh, it's not about making sure. We want to see what is the strategies. They're selling cheap items, expensive items. They focus on high-ticket items. They focus on branded items et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the last thing is to do listing analysis, how they optimize their titles, what images they use, what is their item specific policies and descriptions. You have to open your eyes all the time. You have to go through sellers and see what they're doing all the time. Don't stay close in a cave and just follow like a robot everything that you've seen in these webinars. Take this information, execute it, but also think wider, think bigger, develop your own methods, see what other successful sellers do. I can tell you that all best strategies I've learned and I'm teaching you here today was through doing competitor analysis, performance analysis, price analysis, listing analysis. I've found some dropshippers that are doing extraordinary strategies and I adapted to myself in a better way. And let's see how we do it. Let's move to the live demonstration and see how we do it. So go back here into one of those sellers. Let's start with Chopsy, go back to 30 days sales. I prefer to do performance analysis on 30 days and not seven days and start from the analysis. First of all, performance analysis, $27,000 revenue, 126% sell through rate. This guys know what he's doing. This is what I understand. He has a very good performance, more sales than active listings. It's a very good dropshipper. 
Second thing is his feedback score, 630 feedbacks. It means he's not too new, but also not too old. He's not years on eBay, maybe six months, maybe eight months. That's it, okay? I can also see a 452 successful listings compared to 1,200 active listings very well as well. And his average price is $17. So he's probably, probably he's selling pretty cheap items, okay? Now, this is a performance analysis that I did. Now I'm gonna check two more things. I'm gonna check profitability. He is working on pretty low profit. Some other products he's working for this, he's working around 10%, between 10 to 15 to 20 to 15% profit. So he's doing, Pretty well, pretty good profit margins, right? But what is special here? What do we see special about him? We know his price strategy. We know. He focus on a very specific products. Lots of high demand, evergreen products, oil, proteins, this gun, gun evergreen products. Look, his store full of evergreen products. Products people need to use all the time. Products people use, finish, and need to reorder. These are recurring products. Take a look. All his best products are recurring products. We have here some vitamins. We have this uh, a gas for airsoft guns, another vitamin, another vitamin, another cleans uh, material, another vitamins, another uh, uh, drinking type um, uh, water enhancer, another baking soda. These are all recurring products people order all the time. And now what I did was, is, Understanding this guy have amazing performance, right? Product his sellings are pretty cheap, but he's doing something very smart. He's tuned all his energy into listing evergreen products that people need to reorder all the time. So by observing his listings, titles, prices, performance, I now can conclude that this guy have a good performance because he's going on very specific type of product niches which people need to order all the time. Next things will be to open his listings and analyze the listings, title. Does he optimize his title or use the exact same title on eBay, on, on Amazon? You have to check it out. His uh, shipping. I will need to go and see second prices. Images. He's just using very simple images, but you have a gallery images. It's getting bigger, you see? His item specific, very rich. Lots of information. Very good SEO optimization. His Description is not the best. We can be better than him. He don't start with, he's not follow up with title. Okay. And if we go here and we change the shipping to United States, let's see his shipping. He have free shipping, expedited shipping, which is fast and three days handling time, which this is what you do with Amazon and 60 days return. So we know we can have better return policy so we can change to 60 days. People probably don't return vitamins. It's not the product people return. And then, have same shipping and have already be better than him in these terms of policies. And this is what we want to always do. We want to be curious, analyze and research and learn from what other people are doing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And um, let's go back and see other, other seller just to get another perspective. So this is another seller. This is another seller, Outdoor S Fund 978, $19,000 in revenue. 8,000 active listings, 756 sold items, only 8% sell to rate. We're looking on his title, what we see, all these little commas and all this information. This guy don't edit his titles and he sell random products, completely random products. Now, his average selling price is $25, already higher, okay? And what we can see here is that he's 3,000, have 3,000 feedbacks. He's pretty, maybe a, a year and a half on eBay with this amount of sales, okay? So what we've learning here, what we are learning here, we are learning that the strategy of this seller is completely different. This seller focus on high amount of active listings, low sell to rate. He's probably automated process, probably used tools like the bulk scanner and turbo scanner and autopilot. And he's uh, not optimizing his titles, probably not optimizing his listings. Let's take a look. Title directly from Amazon. Images, good enough images. He's extracting from Amazon as well. Scrolling down, very basic item specific, very basic description, but he's doing good description. That's enough for my, my opinion. Can be bigger fonts, but it's enough. Item specific can be better. He's not investing into it because he's bulk listings based on his work. 
and you have three days handling time and standard shipping. You don't even use expedited shipping and you use Amazon. So he can be better here. And we can see that this guy is completely different strategies and both of them making money. So competitor research is not just about product and niche, it's finding products and finding niches. It's also about learning. Every day you need to learn something new. When you analyze other people, you can see what they're doing. You can learn their methods and you can try them on your stores. You can decide which strategy is better for you, which product you want to focus on, what niches work be best, how they optimize their titles. You can learn so many things. Guys, it was a pleasure for me to be here today. It was a pleasure for me to be here today. This was the webinar. And now I want to um, announce special offer for all the people who are watching the webinar uh, that will be valid for the next seven days. We're going to run special 40, 50, and 60% off on all our yearly plans for the next seven days, limited time offer. Uh, there is a coupon code here, it's profit. Just write profit in the, uh, in the registration or when you upgrade. And if you wanna use the bulk scanner, you will have the bulk scanner on the Pro Plus plan. And you can get it now for 50% off paying only $299 instead of $600. And it's, it's an opportunity to get this amazing feature for half price for one year, guys. And that's it. I want to thank you. And I want to move also to the, the last part of this session where uh, I give you time to ask me questions. And uh, I want to answer your questions, okay? So if you've got any questions, we're here to answer. Feel free to ask me at any, any time. And if you want, you can raise a hand, you can raise a hand and I can actually speak with you and answer your questions this way. Let me see. All right. So I see very, all right. Yes, hello. Hey, how are you, Virlin? Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, is it give, 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 Giva? Yeah, Mr. I, Giva? Yeah, I'm Mr. I'm Nahar Giva. Giva is my family name. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on? Um, I, I, I'm a, I have your uh, membership. I believe the Zika Analytics Pro. I think it's like $45 a month. Um, so I'm, I'm basically new to drop shipping. Mm -hmm. I may have maybe two weeks, three weeks now. All right. And right now, I've been focusing on, on electronics and buying them from AliExpress and sell them on eBay. Oh, and you're drop shipping it from AliExpress to eBay? Uh, yeah, but um, my thing is the time frame. Um, have you experienced as far as customers, are they willing to wait 30 days? Yeah, so so there is, a, I, I will remove, this is a myth, I will remove these doubts for you. This is no problem. People are waiting. There is, it's, it's a thing. It's like entire uh, user, entire uh, customer base who are buying from China and they're existing. There are thousands of sellers from China, some Chinese, some not, shipping with long shipping times. So it's totally fine. This is how it is. And the business, the business model work. Um, in the previous webinars, I covered a lot AliExpress. Today, it was more examples about uh, Amazon, but it's pretty much same processes everywhere. I would say beside it, the bulk scanner do, does do not support AliExpress. But the uh, AliExpress is great for profit margins. It's it's higher profit margins than uh, Amazon. It's around thirty percent profit margins. And I and I think you shouldn't you shouldn't focus on specific niche. Do the same process that I've just shown here. I can even share my screen now and show this process again just for you. Okay. So let me go into the product research. Do you see my screen? Yes, sir. I do. Perfect. So let's say and and this is a great example for anyone who drops you from AliExpress right now. Let's say uh, you want to use competitor research to find other dropshippers from AliExpress because you know that uh, if you find another dropshipper who is a successful and sell prof products for higher profit margins, it will, it will shorten the process of finding profitable products. You don't need to just randomly go and do the checks. You know what I mean? It will be very focused, very focused product research method. So I'll go to the product research. I will go to the quick settings here. I will change the settings, very important. I will change shipping location to China and source website to AliExpress. And I will hit apply changes. Now I will come here and I will search anything. It can be anything, literally anything. It can be men watch, woman bag. It can be gaming keyboard. It can be anything, okay? So I'll put men watch for this example. And now I will use in the product research result, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna use the, um, 
filter of dropshippers only. Do you see this filter? Yeah. Drop. Oh, okay, okay. I click dropshippers only. And what's happening now, I get all the sellers who are dropshippers. So I don't need to guess who is dropshippers. Now, usually it, it, you can see that, the, that lots of dropshippers from the United States, some from Israel. I can say that specifically Israeli dropshippers, and maybe Israeli people are going to be angry about me right now, they are very good. So if you see results, go, <laughs> go and analyze them, you know, go and analyze them. Now, of course, in the United States, also great, great dropshippers and other places as well, but it's much smaller community, so it's very concentrated. In the United States, you have so many sellers, some are amazing, some are less. In, the, in the Israel, it's very concentrated, so you can go and analyze those sellers. Now, I will analyze the first guy as well, and I will analyze the second guy as well, and I will analyze also this Indonesian seller as well. So you click on the scan seller button, and now you will go through them. Now, the first seller here, we can see, have $47,000 revenue. This is an American dropshipper, right? And uh, he have 2,425 active listings, 1,137 sold items. His average selling price is $41. And it seems that he's dropship anything related to watches. Now, this seller in specifically focus on very specific niche. I personally suggest you can do it later. After you, you already build one successful store, you can create a new store which focus on niche. When you get started, my suggestion, go and try any product. Any product is relevant, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know what's going to work for you. You can just think, oh, electronic is great and then go for electronic, but you miss other opportunities. So in eBay, it doesn't really matter if your store focuses on niche or not in terms of perf performance because you are competing on search results. Every product competing on the search results. So if we're going here, we see that these sellers from Israel got 148 active listings, 92 sold items, average selling price, $90, $99. 89 feedbacks is pretty beginner. It's good for you. And 62% sell rate. He's doing pretty well for someone who just got started. Okay. You have $1,839 revenue, around 30% profit margins. Let's probably check it out. Now, scrolling down, we see the different product. Let's say this is one of the products you want to find. We click here on the item finder, and it will go and find the same product from AliExpress for us, okay? Mm -hmm. Now I can continue with my process and check which is the exact product. If I can find the exact one or similar one, ah, here it is, you see? Here's the exact product. It has five ratings selling for $9. This guy's selling for $23. Let's open this on eBay and on mm. AliExpress. Let's see how much profit this guy made. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I see here you have different, different models here, this guy. Let's see if it's exact same one. This guy also have different models. Yeah, so this guy mixed a lot of models. Yeah, you see he mixed a lot of models into his listings. This is an interesting strategy. You have two type of glasses. You see you have this one, and then you have this one into his listings. So he offer big variety of listings. He's selling it for, let's go to the one that we can find, $23.99. He sold 17's lifetime. He buy it here. Let's find the exact same color to just see that it's much the price. Not this one, or this, this one. 983 shipping four dollar okay so let's do the calculation together let's just do the calculation together just find the calculator here so let's take 983 plus shipping 453 you see mm -hmm. plus 453 we're getting here $14.36, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, this is our product cost. Now, he sell it for $23.99. So let's take $23.99, remove 12% fees. You know, we have the, the eBay fees, processing fees. Remove 30 cent, it's fixed fees. We have 12, we have $20.81 left, minus the cost of our products. In total was include shipping $14.36. $6 profit on product you sell for $23. We're talking here about 30% profit, right? Mm -hmm. Almost 30% profit. So now what you did, instead of trying to guess which niche, which product will work, it's a very simple process. Now I know that this is a good seller. I do what I showed in this webinar. I save it to my list. This guy work on good products. He have good information. I save it to my list. I will just put a test webinar for now, okay? 
give it a rating, and then I build a list of good sellers. Now, if this was seller was not good, I would not save it. But I see he's selling profitable products. He have decent uh, performance for a beginner. It's a seller I can return every week, every two weeks, and see which new listings he listed to his store, and then just grab them to my store. Now, I suggest you to go and watch one of the webinars we, we did before about optimization. And there is also short videos in the Academy of Zeek, also on the YouTube channel, it's showing how to create titles and all these things. If you're not sure how to find these videos, you can always click on the live chat support, send us a message and ask about, I need a video on how to optimize my listings and they will just save you the time and find it for you. And then just make sure you optimize the listing and list it. Now this seller have so many good items. Mm -hmm. They all have six sales in 30 days. It's good numbers, right? Now from here, we want to go to another seller. Now, remember what I said before, one seller lead you to another seller. So this guy have 23 competitors, this side. I will click here, scan title. Now what will happen is that these 23 items are drop shipping items. They're all drop shippers. Look how many Israelis. Now you got here. <laughs> Now, all what you need to do is just go click on those buttons one by one like this. Got so many sellers and see the performance. Hmm, inter another interesting seller. Check it out. Oh, another interesting seller. Less interesting, right? Performance are less good. Can I find profitable products here? Depends. Maybe you will be able. If the sales are high enough, yes. Let's check out this seller. Not so good, right? This seller, this is very good. 144% sell to rate, 36 Active listings, 52 sales, also very new. I like this kind of sellers. He knows how to push high sales. So this guy here sell this product with zero competition, $46. Let's see if we can find it. Here is the product, $46. Seems like this is exact same one. Let's see, or this is exact, yeah, this is the exact same one. Seems like it's, let's see. You go here, these are just the covers. Let me just see, we need to find the original, not just the cover. These are new Galaxy Buds Live, right? We need to find the exact one, not just the cover. Let's just open this just to see that this is a cover or the original. Ah, this is out of stock right now. But these are the original, I, like this is with earplugs. You go, you find it and don't give up. If you do this and you can't find it here, don't give up. Go mm -hmm. to AliExpress, try to search a little bit more for it. Okay, because sometimes the item finder will bring something similar. Ah, maybe these are the ones actually, I think. Yeah, I think this is the ones, the first one. No, these are just pieces. So don't give up, go to AliExpress and search for it and move for the next and to, for the next and for the next. And, and just like this, make sure you list every day 10, 15 items, 10, 15 items. Walk like machine, don't let anything distract you. Don't let anything move you from your target, finding 15 products every day, matching my product criteria, which are two sales in seven days, at least. 30% for profit margins, no more than 20 competitors, optimize title, optimize price, and one after another, one after another, as simple as it sounds, this is what you need to do. This is what will bring you the result. So I hope this was a good demonstration. If you have another questions, please let me know. Uh, 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 yeah, just one last question, Mr. Nahar. Yeah, and then sure. that's it. Yeah. Okay, um, that was a great um, demonstration, sir. Um, now, I wanted to, uh, for Home Depot, like let's say US-based, uh, Yeah. Retailers like Home Depot. I know there's some guys that are dropship from Home Depot or Walmart. Mm -hmm. Now, for Walmart, for example, let's say I see a mainstay uh, furniture piece, let's say a TV stand, mm -hmm. and let's say this particular week it's on sale 50% off. Mm -hmm. uh, to get to my point, if I'm dropshipping that from Walmart, how do I put that? How do I coordinate that as far as the shipping price? Very good. You have li you have listing tools. And, and the repricer, it's called repricer. Tools like AutoDS or Selfix, which basically upload the product to your store and maintaining the price. If the price change on Walmart, it will automatically change in your store. I but you can, if you need more information about it, you can go here to the live chat support and tell them, hey guys, can you send me recommendation for a listing tools? We created a, a whole a page with um, uh, the list of the most recommended listing and repricing tools. And they will also help you automate the process of uploading the product to your store. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Berlin. And I will now ask if anyone else, I see PT Mac, Vanessa Wambui. Let's try with Vanessa and after PT Mac. Vanessa, I sent you the ability to talk. Please let me know.
if you want to join and ask questions. Hello there. Hey, Vanessa, how are you? Fine, thank you. My name is Vanessa Mboi, and I am joining from Kenya. Wow, amazing. And uh, thank you very much. And uh, I want to start uh, drop shipping, mm -hmm. but I'm not using AliExpress. I was doing some research and I got um, a site called CJ. CJ is drop shipping. It's pretty similar to AliExpress. Uh, we're also teaching it in, our, in, in some of our YouTube videos. Uh, mm -hmm. And yeah, it's also a great service. It's also, it's required from you a little bit more uh, work because you need to communicate with them and check the products. And, and then there is a process where they go and check that the product exists and then they approve it. And then you can list it to your store. They have integration with eBay. So you can list directly to your store or you can use one of the listers I mentioned before. Uh, and they are very good as well. Very good as well. Same like AliExpress. Okay. So um, my question is in terms of auto ds can i um like join my cj dropshipping account to cjs yes I, I believe so i you have to ask them these questions but i think you can list product from cj dropshipping using auto ds i believe so you have to ask them but i believe it's possible and in terms mm -hmm. of product research just to give you the tip for this in terms of product research you do exactly what i show to virly now you find aliexpress dropshippers and instead of sourcing from AliExpress, you sold from CJ, okay? But you do okay. exact same process. This will save you tons of times, bring you relevant products, and boom, you start selling. Okay, thank you so much. Also, does it apply with Alibaba? Alibaba is a different story because some of them will drop ship, but you don't have the exact product information directly on Alibaba. The information on Alibaba is bulk. So you need to contact these people. You need to contact the suppliers. And absolutely, I know people who are putting a lot of effort into sourcing and finding... Chinese suppliers and drop shipping directly from the suppliers, not from any website. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, not supported by any automation. You will need to work with them with Excel sheets automatic manually. Oh, manually. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vanessa, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, PT Mac, you are next. Sent you the invite. Okay, can you hear me? Yep, absolutely. Um, so earlier in the in the thing, you were talking about the the the, the Velo flag, I think it is. The Vero, the Vero, Vero protection. Vero flag, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's go, let's try to find an example on one of the sellers. In a, this one, for example. Or do you mean inside inside the bulk scanner? Do you mean? Yeah, you said you would eliminate all, all the Vero. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What are the what are the what are the Vero ones, and and we stay away from them generally, or just in the bulk scanner? Everywhere. So Vero is a program of eBay that protect trademark. Okay. So this is this is just a term. A, a, a industry term for product which you're not allowed to sell. It's a Vero product. It means it's a trademark, it's a copyright, whatever, okay? So what we do in Zeek Analytics, because of, of the years of experience and the collaboration with other industry leaders, we're collecting the name brand, the brands of these names. We have a database of the, of the, with the list of these brands, for instance, Monster, Apple, and stuff like this, okay? Cattle and stuff like this, Duck and stuff like this. And then all our products, everything we show in Zeek, we, take, we check if, if the word exists, if the, if the brand name exists in our list. If it exists, we are flagging you. Be aware of this product, okay? And, now, and if you are, the, the risk, when you work manually, it's easy. You see, you don't list, right? You see, it's very, you skip it. But when you use automation, like the bulk scanner, you don't have time to now go through 500 products. So we're doing this automatically for you. Okay, and and because eBay will shut you down if you list one of those products in there. Yeah, so usually it's like first time eBay will send you a warning and will remove the listing. Second time warning, third time warning, fourth time you get um, limitation for seven days, then limitation for thirty days, and if you continue, eventually you get shut down. Okay. 
All right. So, all right. So, okay, cool. I didn't, I didn't know, no, I didn't really catch that in the training. Um, okay, cool. I'm glad. I'm glad uh, you asked these questions. Thank you very much. It's very important Thank questions, you. very good questions to clarify. Uh, because, you know, it's the little things that we focus on finding products and we focus on all these things. And sometimes these little things are just like heard on, on the background, but it's important we address it. Thank you very much for asking this question. Yeah, may I ask you, you, may I ask yeah. you a question? Yes. Uh, can you tell me about your selling journey? If you already got started, how many listings you put on your store, if you got started and what is your situation? Um, I was about to get started um, a month ago, but um, my job a little over a month ago, but my job extended and it just ended last Friday. So I'm, I'm diving right back into it now and I'm going to start, you know, digging in. So, amazing. Amazing. I can yeah. tell you that w- when I got started, I, I was unemployed. I moved to Germany. I was unemployed. I didn't have what to do. It was pretty stressful, but I had the time to invest in this and here we are today. So. It's a great time to start uh, with the, uh, with, uh, when you have time, it's a great time to invest this time in something like this. So, and, and so um, on my startup path here, basically I should be doing bulk uploading of, of, you know, hundreds of products a day. Is that what I want to get to a certain point? Like, it's, this is the, the end goal here, yeah. but the question is like, uh, if you already have an eBay account, how, 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 ex- how long this account exists? What is your selling limits? Because usually when you create an account, you are limited for 10 products. So uh, or, or, I've, had, I've had an eBay account, but not really for selling stuff for like decades. Um, but, it's very good. Use this account. Okay. Uh, I would suggest step number one, upload from home, one, two products, not, to, not, not for selling, just you know, make a photo of some old book or something, put it on your store. After you did it, call eBay, ask them to increase your selling limits. They will increase from 10 to 100. Okay. okay. Once they increase it to 100, you start listing dropshipping products. First, you only can list 100, so you don't need bulk. You go, you list one by one. Now, if you don't want to do the product research manually, you can use the bulk scanner to find this product automatically and then just list them one by one. But, but uh, it will take you approximately one month, two months, or I would say two months to get to 1,000 or, or first 500 listings limit. And then the, the Second month, the third month, 1,000 plus, and this is when you can start listing more quantities. So it's a, okay. le- it's a curve of like three months till you can list a lot. Okay, and, 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 and do you call them up every time you get to the wall or do they automatically just keep you in, in waiting 30 days? And, and Good question. It? Sometimes they upload it. Sometimes they just uh, upgrade you automatically. And sometimes you need to call them. Um, but I always tell people, call, call 30 days. Even if, even, even if 30 days not passed, call. By the end of the day, who is sitting there by the other side of the phone? It's a human like us with emotions and understanding. So we can convince anyone, right? We can try one time, two time, three time. We can tell our story. We can tell how it's important for us. And eventually they will increase the limit. So, and even if you receive no as an answer for the first time, don't give up. Try again and again. After three times, eventually someone will say yes. Oh, that's a good tip. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, and tell your story. People. Share with them what your situation. You stop working. Tell them this. You have uh, you have experience in. Tell them. Tell them like I'm here. It's it can change my life. I want to do it. I have items to list. I'm ready to grow. I'm committed. I'm full time sellers. I'm all day working. Please help me. You know. Oh, that's great. Yeah, squeaky wheel method. <laughs> exactly. It's, exactly. It's attention. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, all man. Right. Thank, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. you too. Bye bye. Lots of people are waiting here. We have to end this webinar, unfortunately. Um, I want to thank everyone for the time, for watching. You've been amazing. It was an excited, exciting webinar. I, I feel that this webinar is, is a life changing because competitor research tool, if you understand it right and you use it right, it's changed everything you know about the industry. You know. Lots of people starting, and we've just spoke with 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 uh, uh, Virlin, the first guy we spoke with, and he he said he started focusing on specific niche. This is a good example where sometimes focus can go out of on the wrong things. Start focus on competitor research. Start 
discovering, listing all kinds of products. Later on, when you know what are the best selling products in your store, this is when you start to focus on niches. Verlin, thank you so much for sharing your story. This is helping to a lot of people because now they can learn from the lesson we've learned here today and adapt it to their business. Guys, thank you so much. I'll see you on the next month on the next webinar. I wish you best of luck. And remember, keep working hard, push as much as you can to break even as fast as possible, because once you break even, only left to turn profitable. And once you turn profitable, it's only left to turn this into full-time uh, independent um, business. Thank you so much, guys.